Hey crew, it's uh, Sunday morning, uh, about 9.30. Just thought I'd make a quick video. I'm going to try to cut together. I've got a bunch of video from camp and also from the trip I just took that I really should <coughs> try to put together to um, <coughs> to give you, to, to, to show you, seeing as how I took it to show you. Um, pour me a little tea here. Um, the... Uh, but I just wanted to make a quick video now because it's so much easier to do these webcams. Um, and I know I'll get something out then. Uh, Sarah and the kids, Sarah and Gareth and Taryn, are on their way home from Pullman. They should be home in, I don't know, half an hour or so, 45 minutes. Um, I'm feeling much better. I was miserable all day Saturday. Um, but, uh, yesterday, wait, yesterday was Saturday. I was miserable all day Friday. Um, and Friday night was particularly bad. You know, it was one of those nights where I was thinking that, you know, I just, you know, you wish you're dead. You know, you were, my throat was just like I had, uh, it was like it was on fire. And my whole neck on the outside was sore. And I think I had a fever. And, uh, and then, like, I don't know, one or two in the morning, I fell asleep, and then I slept till 10, um, and I woke up and I felt a little better. The, the infection in my throat is, seems to be subsiding, but I still have a lot of phlegm and, obviously, <coughs> stuff going on in my throat, uh, phlegm, uh, you know. But, now that you have detailed knowledge of my physical well-being, um, I, uh, uh, I can't remember. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about camp, and and I, I know I talked to you about this already a lot, but um, I was thinking about it again this morning, and and it's just amazing how great it was. Um, it was, you know, and it was, and as I said earlier, you know, like Red Grammar was there the whole time, and he was so generous. You know, it was like he did music all the time um and it was so selfless the way he did it you know it wasn't like he was doing music to get attention or to you know or to be the center of attention or whatever it was like he was doing it because he knew it made people happy and he loved making people happy and um the class that he did with with uh celia you know where they talked about um five-year plan and various other things you know and they talked about the tablets of divine plan you know they were just it was it was so often you know i just feel like people are pushing us to do things and it wasn't like that at all it was just like here's the information you know and isn't it cool and isn't this great and do what you want do what you feel is best um and i think that you know we've lost that and they talked about that a little bit but you know, in the Baha'i community, there's so much pressure to, 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 to be active and do certain things, and um, and it was uh, it was really nice to just feel like um, Celia and Red Red were there just to hang out and be part of the community, and it was very inspiring. Uh, so, yeah, I I I just really enjoyed it, and I was thinking about it again today. Um, so, uh, yeah, and I gotta figure out how to operationalize it in my life. There we go again. <laughs> but I mean, I, you know, it's like, uh, what do you enjoy about a community? You enjoy the people, you enjoy the interactions. And <coughs> in this case, um, you know, how do we create some more of those interactions in our community that are more enjoyable? Um, so, and the music was just so so awesome anyway um hope things are going well with you and your kids uh Bryn as I said earlier is in um she's in Portland she went to see Harry Potter and apparently she was at a um Scottish some sort of festival for Scotland and Sarah chatted with her and texted with her I don't text Bryn doesn't text with me but um 
Yeah, so she's doing other things. And I think she's coming home either today or tomorrow. Um, wouldn't be a surprise if it was tomorrow, because I think she doesn't work until Tuesday. Um, so she's having fun. Karu's working. Actually, Karu and I had a good time last night. You know, he, we've been basically hanging on our computers. That's what we do. Um, but we went out to dinner last night just to Jack in the Box. And it was nice to just go out and hang out with him um, a little bit. Uh, so uh, Gareth has been up with the cousins for a week. <coughs> and they'll be back. I need to probably today start calling kids about this Blues Cup tournament. I don't really feel like doing, but probably should. Um and then, actually, I had somebody call me about maybe um, doing some music for a charity fundraiser thing, which I'm, I may do. I need, to, I need to find out more about that. Um, anyway, that's life. Uh, looking forward to watching the Women's World Cup here in a couple hours. I think I can get it online. I hope so. I don't feel like going into public. Um, let me drink some of my tea. Ooh. So good on your throat. Mm. So, uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I'll try to cut together some other video. Um, like I said, I've got camp video. I've got my trip video. Got some cool. You know, I love taking pictures out of the airplane. I love looking at the landscape, and I got some video and some pictures out of the land, out of the airplane. And there's there's one area in particular when we were coming down into. Um, into uh, San Diego and the hills are kind of in the foreground and you get the real you're low enough so you get the real 3d effect of, um, of the you know the movement of the foreground and the background and it looks like it's really 3d oh, yes it is but <clears throat> I think the video it, it shows I love things that kind of give you an indication of the texture and the depth of the landscape and the complexity of it um, Anyway, very cool stuff. So, I will, uh, I'll, I'll try to cut together some more video. I shall do it right now, seeing as how I'm thinking about it. And maybe, if you're lucky, I'll see it. Still dead. <laughs>